I'm here at Castle Kennedy, right at the start of the second stage of the Southern Upland Way. From here, the route starts to climb up into the hills, although the Southern Uplands themselves that the route is named after are still quite some way away, we will soon start to see them in the distance. For now though, we've got a few miles of walking through pleasant farmland. <music> I've just got to the point where the Southern Upland Way turns off into Glen Wan Forest and here there's a post with a sign on it about the standing stones of Glen Terror. Although these are called standing stones, this stone circle is made from stones that are only a few feet high, but it is the first Stone Age site we pass on the route. From here on, for the next 20 miles at least, there's non-stop Stone Age and Iron Age sites. You're going to pass stone circles, chambered cairns, burnt mounds, which are the remains of where they used to heat water using hot rocks, and hut circles, which are the remains of buildings, as well as an Iron Age hill fort. So keep an eye out for more signs like these that tell you about the local archaeology. You will now pass along the edge of Glenwan Forest, which is the first of many forests you'll be exploring along your adventure. On one side of you, you have an amazing mixture of conifer and broadleaf trees, and on the other, views over Glen Wanmore. There's often the sound of burbling water along here as there's a burn that follows alongside the path. And keep an eye out for deer, as I'll often see them around here. This is an old trayer marker. If you see one of these on a waymark post, you'll know that between this waymark post and the next one, a kist is hidden. Inside the kist will be coins that are designed by local skilled children. If you find the kist, you take one of the coins, and by the end of the Southern Upland Way, you should have a collection of 13. I'm just crossing the Water of Luce, and just up ahead the Southern Upland Way heads up onto Kilhern Moss, where it passes the Caves of Kilhern, an Iron Age chambered cairn. I've already done a video about that, I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it. I, however, am going to take a detour into the village of New Luce, where there is a fantastic pub that is definitely worth visiting. This is the village of New Luce, and it's a fantastic place to detour to if you're in need of somewhere to stay the night or just some food and supplies while you're out on the southern of the way. There's a small village shop here, but be careful to check the opening times before you come because it's not open every day. But there is also a fantastic pub, the Kenya Arms. It was closed for quite a few years, but it's recently been bought by the community and reopened. We've just had this fantastic new pub opened up. What have you got here to offer users of the Southern Upper Way? Absolutely. So the, the Kenya Arms is a fantastic uh, example of what Scotland basically can offer to walkers, cyclists and you know anyone else that's looking for the Southern Upland Way and walks and things like that. Uh, we've got a beautiful restaurant, uh, offers amazing um, food from lunch. We can also do a breakfast and we can do obviously a lovely dinner for them. We have, uh, some, we have three beautiful rooms, two double and twin and one family size room. All can be obviously very much on offer if people are coming through New Loose on the way. Um, we can also offer a beautiful drink in our pub. We have a lovely uh, display of array of drinks, Scottish drinks, uh, our own pilsner um, and things like that. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No problem at all. <laughs>